In this video, I will walk you through free response question number six from the 2023 AP Calculus exam. This problem is about implicit differentiation, tangent lines, and related rates. Consider the curve given by the equation 6xy equals 2 plus y cubed. Part A. Show that dy dx is equal to 2y over y squared minus 2x. We will start by differentiating the left side of the equation using the product rule. So the first time through we take the derivative of 6x, which is 6, and we leave the y part alone. And then we put a plus. The second time through we leave the 6x alone, and we take the derivative of the y. That's just going to be dy dx. Moving on to the other side of the equation, the derivative of 2 is 0, so that's gone. Be very careful when you take the derivative of 3y. We are going to have to use the chain rule, so we will bring that 3 to the front, and then the y is going to end up being squared. Um, but because we are differentiating with respect to x, we have the y here, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of y, which is dy dx. We need to get all the dy dx terms on the left side of the equation, and anything else will be on the right-hand side. So this term can stay on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to bring down 6x dy dx. Now I'm going to subtract this term from both sides, so I will have minus 3y squared dy dx, and I will subtract 6y from both sides, so we will have negative 6y on the other side. We put these together on one side so that we can factor out the dy dx, so we will put dy dx out in front of parentheses, and that's going to leave behind 6x minus 3y squared equals negative 6y. To isolate the dy dx, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 6x minus 3y squared. So this is going to end up in the denominator. So we will have dy dx is equal to negative 6y over and I think when as I write this in the denominator I'm going to go ahead and factor out the GCF of 3. So we will have 3 times the quantity 2x minus y squared. I'm always keeping an eye on this target that we are shooting for and so we're getting closer. So 3 goes into negative 6 twice, and we are left with this. Factoring out a negative sign and switching up the order gives us this in the denominator. Obviously, on the last step, these negatives will cancel each other out. And we are left with dy dx equals 2y over y squared minus 2x, which is the target. Part B. Find the coordinates of a point on the curve at which the line tangent to the curve is horizontal, or explain why no such point exists. A horizontal tangent line can only occur when the first derivative is equal to zero. So let's start by setting dy dx equal to zero. A fraction can only equal zero if the numerator is equal to zero. So that means that two uh, y would equal zero which would make y equal 0. To find the x-coordinate, we need to substitute this y value back into the original equation. So we write at y equals 0, all right, always label your work like this, we have 0 equals 2, uh-oh. Um, that doesn't make sense, so this is y, there is no such point. So here's our explanation. dy dx equals 0 at y equals 0 only. However, y cannot equal 0 because this leads to a false statement. 
so there is no point at which the tangent line is horizontal. Part C. Find the coordinates of a point on the curve at which the line tangent to the curve is vertical, or explain why no such point exists. A vertical tangent line will only occur where dy dx is undefined. A fraction will be undefined when the denominator is equal to zero. So we have y squared minus 2x is equal to zero. To find the coordinates of x and y, we will need to solve this system of equations. Let's start by getting x by itself. So adding 2x to both sides, we have y squared is equal to 2x. Now dividing both sides by 2, we get x is equal to 1 half y squared. Substituting this back into the original equation gives us 6 times 1 half y squared times y is equal to 2 plus y cubed. Multiplying by 6, we have 3, and uh, also multiplying y squared by y gives us y cubed. So 3y cubed is equal to 2 plus y cubed. Subtracting y cubed from both sides gives us 2y cubed is equal to 2. Dividing both sides by 2 gives us y cubed is equal to 1. And taking the cube root of both sides gives us y is equal to 1. To find the coordinates of x, we just need to substitute this back into this little equation right here. And we get x is equal to 1 half. It's probably better to show our work sort of in order. So let's show it like this. We conclude that the curve has a vertical tangent line at 1 half comma 1. Part D. A particle is moving along the curve. At the instant when the particle is at the point 1 half comma negative 2, its horizontal position is increasing at a rate of dx dt equals 2 thirds units per second. What is the value of dy dt, the rate of change of the particle's vertical position at that instant? First of all, to make dx dt and dy dt appear, we need to differentiate both sides of the original equation with respect to t. Let's use the product rule on the left hand side. First we take the derivative of 6x with respect to t. This will be 6 dx dt. And we leave the y part alone. Then we put a plus and we go through it again. The second time through we leave the yellow factor alone and we take the derivative of the blue factor which is dy dt. Now taking the derivative of the right hand side of the equation, uh, the derivative of 2 is 0. We will need to use the chain rule on y to the third power. So when we move this 3 to the front, we're going to get y squared. However, we must then multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is dy dt. Ultimately, we need to solve for dy dt, but we know the value of everything else in this equation. Let's substitute in 1 half for x, negative 2 for y, and 2 thirds for dx dt. So label your work like this. At the point 1 half comma negative 2, we get 6 times dx dt, so that's your 2 thirds, and then times y, which is negative 2, plus 6x, uh, and the x is 1 half, times dy dt. This is what we are trying to solve for equals 3y squared. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and just put 4 for y squared dy dt. So let's simplify this just to make it easier to get 
dy dt by itself. Um, let's see, 2 thirds times 6. 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 3 is 4, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So we have negative 8 plus 1 half of 6 is 3, and then we have dy dt is equal to 12 dy dt. Let's get all of the dy dt expressions on the left and everything else on the right. Actually, I'm noticing that these dy dt terms are like terms, so it will be simpler to just subtract 3 dy dt from both sides. That will leave negative 8 is equal to 9 dy dt. Dividing both sides by 9, we get negative 8 ninths is equal to dy dt. So dy dt equals negative 8 ninths units per second.